what's up just sweets family today i'm in the mood for some real tea so i decided to bring you along for the process this is going to be guyanese style roti oil roti um so right now i'm just going to show you everything that you're going to need you're going to need flour baking powder oil and warm water so right here i measured out about three cups of flour into my bowl now i'm just adding in about a teaspoon of baking powder and about two teaspoons of oil and i'm going to mix that together and now i'm just adding in my water little by little you want a soft but kind of sticky but not too sticky dough for this recipe i used about one and a fourth cup of water and after you finish adding in all your water you want to knead it together After I'm done kneading all of this together and I get the consistency that I want, I'm gonna let this sit covered with a wet paper towel for about 10 minutes to let the dough rest. And I will be back when that time is done. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and now I'm going to divide my dough into balls. I like to have my roti on the small to medium side. You can do them bigger if you want, but this is just how I I want to do my roti today um, you don't want your balls to be tight and after I do this I'm going to kind of let them rest but not really um, because I'm going to oil them right after but I'm gonna start with the first ball so I'll be back when I start the oiling process. Shot two, shot three, shot four. After nine minutes, she come back for more. She take out the shoes and pawn the dance floor. Then she start to look out, look out like a sword. Then she approach me just like a cure. Me knows that she like me tonight, me a sword. She sexy, she beautiful, and she pure. Tell her you, me a door, so wind up on my body, yeah. Wind up like a carnival. Tell me love the way you, you wind for me. Tell her why it's so emotional, so wind up on my Okay guys, so going back to my first dough ball that I made, I'm going to dip it in some flour, stretch it out with my hand a little bit, and then on a floured surface, I'm gonna roll it out. This part does not need to be perfect because it's going to get rolled up again. 
So right here, I'm just adding some oil and I'm gonna sp spread it out with my hand. I'm gonna make a little slit from the middle of the dough to the edge and roll it into kind of a cone. Put the end of the, well, the tip that didn't get really rolled in um, toward the bottom and then place it on the surface and push the tip of the cone into the base. And that's the process of how I oil my roti and I'm gonna set it aside and repeat this process. After I'm done oiling all my roti, I am going to let them rest for maybe about an hour. You can let them rest up to overnight in an airtight container, um, but it really just depends on how much time you have. Um, if you don't have an hour, 15 minutes is good as well. Just make sure you let the dough rest. Remember the longer you let them sit, the softer they will be and the more layers that they will have. I do let them rest also with a wet paper towel over the top so it doesn't dry out. Okay, so it's been about an hour and I have my towel heating up on the stove and I'm going to roll out my dough thin after dipping it in flour again. I'm gonna, it's basically kind of like the same process as rolling it into the balls. Well, oiling the roti, but just not with the oil. Um, I'm gonna roll it out, like I said, and then I'm adding some oil to my hot towel. I'm putting the dough on. When I start to see bubbles, I'm going to flip my dough and add some oil on the other side. So this first one doesn't have the color that I want, so I just flipped it a couple more times to cook on each side. You do wanna see a little bit of brown on the dough. Okay, now that it's done cooking, I'm going to put it in a bowl for right now, but like really quickly, I'm going to go to that bowl, uh, fold the cooked roti um, into quadrants of four and clap my roti. Uh, careful that the roti is still hot, but this is to release the layers um, of the roti and you will really see and feel how soft the roti is. So after I cooked all my roti and clapped them all, this is what they are looking like. This is my soft Guyanese oiled roti, nice and flaky, very easy to make. I really hope you guys try out my roti recipe. Um, thank you so much for watching. As always, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.